we go into episode two, a place where there is no darkness. Now, from this point forward, I am also completely blind. Not literally, but in terms of gameplay, I am completely blind. No, he wanted to be as authentic as possible, so I stabbed James's eyes out. <laughs> ah! uh, but yeah, so I, I have no idea what's going on going forward. Which also might mean that there may be cases where we get stuck even harder. So oh, joy. joy. Joy, joy, joy. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we get started right away. We have tons of work ahead of us. I met with my superiors and they wish to continue with the test case. They believe in the capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. My superiors agree with me. Based on the information you have already extracted, the activist group known as Fort is worth investigating. It seems that this Goldfells is an important member of Fort, so we now have clearance to consider them as a target person. Now that Goldfells is a target person, there may be new data trunks available with documents you have already accessed. Don't forget to go back and recheck your sources. Sources always important. So we need to uncover the identity of this Goldfells person. Yes. Because all we all we have is a name, and for all we know, that might not that might not even be their real name. Mm. So I think for the moment, let's quickly go back to the fort and let's see if there's anything new that comes up on their pages. Oh, hang on. So all the all the articles and stuff from the previous episodes carry over. Oh god, this is going to get so complicated later on, I know it. I made the joke of Sunny in Philadelphia, but it really is going to turn into that moment by the end of it. <laughs> right, and this apparently is Mr. Goldfells. We found him! We found him already! Then again, it could be a fake picture for a we know. Yes, yes indeed. We'll have, to, we'll have to use that for the time being. Thankfully, with pictures, you can have multiple ones. Yeah, I saw because it changed with um, Cassandra. Like it starts off with her blue hair, but then we we found we found a uh, another photo of her with blonde. The, the photo changed. Yeah, it was it was just another photo being added. You could go back to them. Right. So as you can see, all of these different blues have now shown up. There is a German folk song called "The Forts Are Free." This might actually be important because that could actually add into if it turns out that the letters are also using this German folk song as a reference. That could be evidence to try and find whoever is in charge of the bombing. So wait, whoever, so the places that got bombed had letters left behind. Do we know what the letters said? Not that I saw. Maybe um, when we check the new article, I'll, I'll check. I don't think the first episode had it either. So okay. Let's add that. Well, the, the, the song here is called The Thoughts Are Free, and the, and the group is called The Thoughts, so it's saying that the thoughts are free. <laughs> Do you get it? It's clever. <laughs> the letter. We are right, it seems. Ah, so I think the letter is part of it in one of the other ones. Right, so... Hey, Symes, can we see the letter? No. Like, I feel like that would be very relevant and useful to our investigation. I have to have you on a leash somehow, so I'll hold back some evidence. I actually already know who done it, but I want to see if you can figure it out. <laughs> it's like in, like you know, in the Danganronpa games when Kyoko figured out the murder case long before anyone else has. Yet she'll yeah. rather she'll rather stay silent and let Makoto try and figure it out. Still... It's like, come on, come on, girl. When the, our lives are literally on the line, just reveal the truth. She does, and she gives hints like turn it upside down where it's like ah that should have been obvious <laughs> yeah but even even then it's like gameplay wise if you still get it wrong you get you game over and it's like okay but kyoko knows kyoko knows who did it like it wouldn't be game over because she knows <laughs> anyway uh so we have information that he immigrated in 1993 that sounds relevant so, let's add that to this. <laughs> so it sounds like he's um Going by his picture, he is an older gentleman. So he only came here in 1993, which is not that long ago. It's the bow tie that's throwing me off. Activists <laughs> never wear bow ties. No, he looks way too smart. He looks way too smartly dressed. Yeah. An immigrant. Hmm. Oh dear. Ah, uh, so Symes shirt so, like just a little peek at Symes' prejudices there, maybe. I voted you, Kip. 
Don't you mean the Conservatives? <laughs> hey -o. Oh, we are going to get down by all well ourselves at the moment. That is why I created this blog. So he is definitely the creator. So we have yeah. that. And there we go. Oh, and we got created document over there. The Fort. An activist group with the same name as this blog. If Goldfells is the one who created the blog, perhaps he perhaps he founded or even was the leader of the activist group. Hmm. hmm interesting. Maybe Goldfell started the activist group, but maybe he got kicked out or something as someone else is taking over, which is leading to their much more radical actions, assuming it is the thought that's doing all these bombings. Yeah, because uh, if you look at the uh, the comment section here, he's talking with someone and he's actually surprised that someone's even reading his blog at all. Mm -hmm. So maybe this guest is the actual culprit. And, Gold and Goldfell's like Cassandra is just a red herring. And this thing, and this thing was established back in 2012, and the game, the game takes place in 2017, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love. Uh, sorry, that last comment at the bottom of the page. Because, <laughs> because uh, my site gets stuck, gets stuff like that too. Uh... Like these automated messages are like, oh yeah, we love your stuff, and like it's just an advertisement, and I'm like, oh shoot me. It's really dis it's really depressing as well because it will say like one new comment and I'm like ooh who's that and it's just an advertisement and I'm like ah oh. <laughs> absolute <laughs> nightmare. It's like the whole thing Jim Sterling talked about very recently with on his Jimquisition. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we are. Like, mm, yep, Goldfell, Goldfell's set up the thought. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred towards those that we thought do us wrong. And then, I now see my high aims might well be the cause for all the events of the past months. More than anything else at fault, I feel responsible. Hmm. So he's not saying he is, but he feels like he has an impact or influence in some regard. Which I can see. Like, some people do that. Like, they say, like, oh, I want to do i want to help make the world better and then someone's like i agree so i've done all this really evil shit and they're like oh, oh no. no so we would definitely be putting that yellow one in here oh but he, he also says at the bottom there sorry i'm jumping ahead but he says that he will halt his active engagement in this group so he's definitely not a part of thought at now so was he usurped or was he just I think it maybe maybe he just left. He's like, no, the group's gone out of control, and I will not be a part of this. Yeah. Like maybe he can't stop it, but he can at least you know keep his conscience clear that he's no longer involved. Yeah. A troubled past. We have to get to the bottom of this. And there's two other, and there's three other blue ones here. He recruited two of his students and arranged three demonstrations like the one held at Freedom Plaza. So we need to find out who these two students are, and maybe one of them is our true mastermind. I get the feeling one of them is Cassandra. No, it can't be, because Cassandra oh, didn't join. Cass yeah. Cassandra didn't join till March, much later. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Hmm. It's it, it it sounded like from the dialogue that I saw that she joined when the group was proper fo proper formed, like and when the group it started. Came to her, yeah. Yeah. Demonstrations. More interesting might be that two students seem to be involved. I will halt my active engagement in this group. Yeah, he did exile, resign from the fort. There we go. And his students. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. Whatever active engagement means, still an interesting fact. My students from Stelagum. That was the place that was just bombed, wasn't it? Yes. Everything is connected! Oh, what? As I said, I have not played past episode 2, so... Ooh, maybe... Maybe they were targeting him. You think? Maybe. Like, if... If they're going in the direction of if you're not with us, you're against us, and they see him as a possible... He could go to the police, they might see him as... as a threat. Ooh, that's... Oh, but we got a related document, I know. What now, Stelligan? 
The same Stelligan where a bomb just exploded. You know what I think about coincidences? I won't repeat it. Please don't. Yes. <laughs> so far, the evidence suggests that the Goldfells was a prominent lecturer at Stelligan, and some of his students became involved in the fault. Did he, like, recruit them for his cause? We need to identify those students, see who else is involved with the group. Right, we're gonna go to this listener thing here, because we haven't seen this yet. Oh, we're still with Cassandra. I'm assuming we'll get other communications later on down the line. She's pro yeah, it, she's in a conversation with Langley, so she's probably asking for the lawyer side of it to go, help me. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, wait, no, it's a one-sided one at the moment. Hey, you. I'm sorry about last night. I really oh, she's come must, over. She, she must still be in, like, either interrogating or, like, just in prison, just locked up. Yeah, so she can't even contact her lawyer. Oh, dear, that's... That's pretty bad. Let's, let's stay in this one until it's done so we can see. So, basically... He's basically saying, look, I'm really sorry I should have been with you last night. Which... Yeah, you should have, mate, because then you might be able to help her. Okay, like, you can't completely blame him, because as he said, this is a very important client. Oh, yeah. And it's like, you know, the, the, pe people are like, how dare you put your job over your relations? It's like, well, sometimes it matters, because a job pays. Yeah. I wasn't completely blaming him. I was just, I was being kind of facetious. Yeah. Like, sorry, just to go slightly off topic. Us going off topic, who'd have thought? <laughs> but it, it's like in Jurassic World, where Bryce Dallas Howard's character gets shat on because like she's not spending any time with her nephews, and is instead trying to help run a giant theme park with dinosaurs in it. And it's like, how dare you, how dare you put so much time into your career? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, there's... Music has changed again. Knowledge, science, wisdom, and sometimes all remain silent. This is the memorial page we just got very recently. Bomb assault on, Skele on Stelligan. Campus closed down until further notice. Yesterday evening, explosive device went off on Stelligan campus, killing a Stelligan student as well as a lecturer. Oh. Does it list who? Does it list the names of those who died? Or no, is that... no, it doesn't. But Gold Goldfells is. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think he is still a lecturer. Oh crap, does that mean he's... Well that complicates things if he is one of the victims. Let me have a look, is anyone... Oh, Joseph Langley came from here. I didn't notice that. Huh. Joanna McElroy. That probably will come into effect later on. Hang on, wait, what? Sorry, I looked away from the screen and I'm looking back. Langley was a student at this university. Uh-huh. Everything is connected. Freds upon Freds upon Freds. Hmm, interesting. Right, so let's look at the headlines. Oh, oh, oh wait, it's just a first suspect in connection with assaults arrested. Woman arrested in connection with Oh my, sorry, the cop's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he has the Mass Effect Andromeda's eyes when it was first released. It looks like it looks like as if he's just been told that <laughs> someone's been arrested. For it. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, Officer Kauf Kaufman, what do you have to say about the woman that's been arrested in connection with these recent attacks? Someone got arrested? There's been attacks? <laughs> I'm a policeman? <laughs> like David Jason in that picture. Oh god, he does. Oh god. Professorship in the field of media ethics at Stelligan, from which he sadly retired in fall 2016. Yeah, so he's he's not been at the uni for a while now. That's good at least. 
Yes. We need yeah. <laughs> Yay, he didn't die, but somebody else did. Oh, oh no. <laughs> did you notice the bombing locations seem to be closely connected to Fort members? There could be a pattern emerging. Fort had held three demonstrations, yet there have only been two bombings. Which might imply... Well, it's definitely a shot in the dark, but we absolutely need to do everything we can to prevent another attack. Take a close look at the past of each member with Fort. Find out the locations of all the demos they have held. That might yield a hint. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we've got some more here. He was a journalist at Der Reporter, one of the most renowned German daily newspapers. Um, I suppose his background information will be important. Keep that just in case. Was also a chairman of the Global Media Ethics Congress. I know this is all fluff, but this might be important. Yeah, well, it, if Goldfell's... Goldfell's clearly seems the kind of person who has, like, you know, a moral code. Yes, he has a very... He has a, a moral compass. Yeah. So it's it's looking more and more unlikely that he'd be the type of person to... He would definitely demonstrate against governments and everything, but he would, he would not ever go so far as to bomb people. Yeah. Or violence of any kind, I think. Judge the average run-of-the-mill terrorist trait. Oh, well. He was also did Die Gedanken sind free, the thoughts are free, a modern-time declaration of independence towards mass surveillance. Ooh, that's important. He wrote a book about getting away from mass surveillance. Well, that's what that's what happens in these kinds of societies. The moment, like, the government puts in anything that will make that you don't like, people will come up with ways to get. Not even necessarily government. In any kind of situation, the moment something comes up that just makes life slightly less convenient for you, you come up with workarounds. Yeah. Well, what do you say to that? He literally wrote the book. Oh, oh crap! I skipped past a bit of dialogue. Sorry. I think is there not is there not like a log that keeps all the bits of dialogue just in case you need to read over anything not that i can say um, okay i don't think it was that important i think it was just Probably. times being smart ass yeah just being a smarmy dick again <laughs> i think the next course of action should be to look for other people of this fort group like the students he mentioned right i think we're done with that one Ah. Just just send a picture of one of the members and say, here's a thought. <laughs> hey. <laughs> also, like, it won't happen because it's in the kind of game this is, but I want us to find, like, the lead, the leader of thoughts. And it's like, it, it, assuming thoughts are is the group responsible for these bombings, like, just to find the leader orchestrating it all. And as they handcuff him and taking him away, like, someone just goes up to him and gives him, like, a coin and go, here's a penny for your thought. <laughs> And then they go, really? Yeah, I've been planning that for like weeks. <laughs> oh god, I... have you have you heard of the game Contradiction? No. Uh, it's a FMV game, but it's it's kind of like this. Like you're an investigator, and the the actor playing the investigator Jenkins is re he has a very David Tennant ish type <laughs> of flair to his performance. He's absolutely fantastic. And that is something he would say for definite. <laughs> if you haven't played Contradiction, you really need to play. If not, watch a play uh, the Jesse Cox Dodger playthrough. It's definitely worth your time. Right, so we are now looking for attendee lists. Now we're looking at the latest one, 2016 to 2017. Now, if you remember correctly, Mr. Abraham Goldfells was in Media Ethics, and he left. I think it was uh, fall 2016, which is. If I remember correctly, go through this. Yes, this is just when he was about to leave. Right. Ah, here we go. Brandon Benjamin, Norma McMillan, Joyce Spark. Ah, no, he is not on here. Okay, so we need to go back. I tell you what, we did find my pet peeve spelling Michael E A L. <laughs> I mean, I know that's how Michael sometimes spells, but that's not how my name's spelt. <laughs> and I am the proto Michael. Right, and here we have all of the different names. Aha! 
Just scroll down until you find blue. Oh! Hello, Miss Juliet Carrington. That's one of the people. Wait a second. She was Isn't the one who that... was attacked by the police officer. My god, the threads! Like... <laughs> Right. You're right, it is turning into that one episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, she, uh, she got a grade A in uh, Master Thesis registered at this course. Oh, so she was very clever. There we go, this one's in. We have seen this name before, haven't we? Right. She was a friend of Miss Watergate. Now it also appears that she was a student of Abraham Goldfell's. I think that's enough to warrant a report. Give me a few minutes. All right, we have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. And now Julia Carrington is linked up. Is there anything else? I bet Symes is the kind of guy who, like, you know, doesn't figure shit out, lets other people do it, and then acts like he figured it out. It's like, hey, S hey, Symes, I found a connection with this Julia Carrington lady. Shh, hang on, I'm thinking. Thinking what? I've got it. Julia Carrington is connected to all this. And it's like, I, I, I just told you that. I think it's the sweater that gives it away. Never trust, <laughs> never trust these types of people who wear sweaters. There's also another blue name that's just come up. A Harrison O'Donnell was a guest. But that's interesting because it wasn't remember the guest who was talking on Mr. Goldfell's page who was really getting into the idea of his group. Maybe this is the same guest. Food for thought. Put it in just in case. Let's see if that name comes up. So O'Donnell wasn't a student at the university. No, he was a guest. So maybe it's um. I think uh, you uh, some people come into like other people's lectures. Maybe that was the case. And he like got really interested in it. Kind of like um. Wait a second! Uh, Isn't O'Donnell the guy I said looks like male tracer? Oh my god! I think you're right. Hold on, we'll look at that in a minute because I think we're nearly done with this. Harrison O'Donnell. Yes, we've seen that name connected to Miss Watergate. I'll report this right away. Ellipses. We have been authorised to consider Harrison O'Donnell a target person. Now there's some more work for you. Congrats. <laughs> Do I get more pay? <laughs> more pay. <laughs> <laughs> pay at all. You're a funny guy. You're here on an internship. You're here for exposure. <laughs> Harrison and Juliet. Those must be Abraham Goldfell's students with him fault. Well done. Yes, I bit of a bit of a slight leap there, I feel, but whatever. Yeah, but we'll roll with it. Right, let's have, let's have a quick look, because I think you Yes, it is, look. It is Mail Tracer. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Should we look at Juliet or Harrison's timeline first? Uh go Juliet. All right, we'll go with Juliet. Aha! Let's go to Juliet's page. We now have a photo. She is the purple-haired girl. She is a PR assistant at Rosen Tech. Somewhere to look into. <laughs> we also have an address. That's helpful. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but Michael, the most important thing, she's into guitar, singing, books, and board games. Board games? Only a sick terrorist would enjoy such things. <laughs> and there's a date, and she lives in Far View. I think they're going to be very happy with that. Also, notice that one of her likes is the targets, the same band Cassandra got into. Oh, yes. I mean, I doubt it's that much of a connection. Oh my god, these two friends like the same band. <laughs> it's all coming together. Turns out the targets are actually the people all behind it all. Yeah, the targets are the real masterminds. <laughs> That'd be like if, it, if like in the real world, like One Direction reveals that they were behind like every terrorist act of the last five years. Oh God. <laughs> right, so she is not someone who likes to be out at night, at late night. Oh that God, she's like me. <laughs> I know you scrolled out past it rather quickly, but that photo of those two dancing didn't look great with the faces. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I was really digging the art style in that opening cutscene because there were no faces, and I felt that was kind of appropriately thematic. But now they're going with the art style, but it looks like they're superimposing real people's faces onto them, and it just... It looks no. a off-putting. I yeah. feel I would prefer it if, they straight, if it was straight up more... Oh, God! 
like sorry that ad further down or that picture further down or yeah. whatever <laughs> like it was a brief moment but I felt it sink into my nightmares <laughs> Which one is the scarier one? Oh, the, oh god, that woman's face! <laughs> oh my god, it's horrifying! And, and the man as well! <laughs> I'll be in your nightmares tonight. Forget forget the activists and the bombings. These Carringtons are demon spawned from the lowest pits of Hades. Oh. Is, that the, is that the twist? Is that... <laughs> what a twist! We need more stories like that. Stories that start out like fairly real, in fairly realistic grounds, but then gradually get more and more like ridiculous as they go on. Like start dealing with like magic and shit. <laughs> oh, right. I mean, that, that torture and cruelty, my friend. I don't think. Well, she definitely causes Cassandra Watergate as a friend. Yeah, I feel like though, if we put it in, they'd like focus more on the torture and cruelty bit, yeah. and they're like. Sandra is a torturer. Even more grounds to. Oh, that's something I will keep in mind. So if something doesn't, yeah, yeah. If there's no evidence. Like when, we'll come back to like it. When you highlighted it, it said under the Cassandra section, engaged in torture, and it's like not no. that. I, no, it's not literal. So I bet Symes is the kind of guy who doesn't understand like that kind of like you know hyperbole or shit like that. It's the sweater, man. It's always the sweater. Like if you like if you ask him, God, I am literally dying. Well, you're clearly not. You're talking to me right now. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, people that say that annoy me too. You know. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm literally dying right now. No, you're not. <laughs> you're perfectly fine. You're metaphorically, you're fi figuratively dying. It's like, change the words. Ah, Juliet's brought something interesting up. She first met Cassandra at the Freedom Plaza protest when she was protected by her. Oh, so that's how they met. Like, yeah. Sandra saving her. Interesting. That, that could be important. Put that in. Oh, really? Symes has nothing to say. <laughs> ah, she was recently increased politically involved, as it says there. It's like that thing when you see people go, oh so, oh, so you're a politician now. It's like, no, I just give a shit about the country I'm in. You could also argue it's one of those instances where, like, I didn't care about politics until they started affecting me and me alone, and now I kind of want to get my voice heard. Yeah, that's a... Put that in, because that sounds like a good point as well. There we go. Oh, first Miss Watergate and now her. Is there some sort of brainwashing going on? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude. Two people have having sharing the same opinion. Clearly, some brainwashing is going on. Most unorthodox. Also, I know I'm only glancing at some of this timeline stuff, but it actually kind of scares me how accurate some of how accurately some of these are written. Yeah, like how it does feel very, very. Like the Orwell writers have clearly been on social, spent a lot of time on social media and picking out like certain phrases and how stuff are written. Okay, one look at this asshole's profile. I already, <laughs> I already hate him. Can we please lock him up? I will take any. He did it, he did it, he's the one, he did it. Considering to change my profession to being full-time profit. <laughs> wow, how, like, how, you must be very flexible to shove your head up your own ass. Media punk off. This how it. how crass can we get? Because on the entertain on the uh, live radio shows, like we try and keep uh, crass language to a minimum, because otherwise we'll, we we will get fired. But how 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 crass can we get away with this? Oh, I think we can get away with it just fine. Okay, then Harrison O'Donnell, suck my dick. <laughs> right, he has been deleting multiple posts from his timeline. Now that is suspicious. Because if somebody deletes something from their timeline, it's something that they either regret put they regret putting up and don't want anyone to actually see. Problem is, this is the internet, and there are archives. Mm -hmm. Something a lot of people seem to forget. Once it's up on the internet, like it technically isn't gone. No. 
Of course, it could also be that, or it could be that one spelling mistake from Twitter you can't get rid of. Oh, yeah, no, I know exactly. Wait, I've done that before. I put, up a, I put up a funny tweet and then I realized, oh, I missed out a word, damn it! And then that one gets likes and you're like, oh, god damn it! Yeah, that's, that's the one that gets noticed. It's like, oh, for god's sake. Do we have something to hide then, Mr. O'Donnell? Oh, god, I'm on the same wavelength as Symes, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like this. It's like that. It's that moment where it's like the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Oh, oh God! Look at this photo. Oh, and it's a conflict uh -huh. as well. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, that's not the worst one I've seen. I was more just look, just like, oh, he is a douche. But this is actually a conflict. Interesting. Where is the other conflict? And it's with Juliet. Oh, is there going to be something up with them two? Something to do with the date, maybe? Mm. Oh, and Harrison was not happy with his friend Mike being a little bit flirty with Juliet. Which means he's easy. Oh, oh, to add to the dickishness, he's also an easily jealous man. Yeah, oh, that, that, that's great. He's like, are you being nice? Are you being nice to my possible girlfriend? Yeah. Then fuck off. Yeah. Because um, you're clearly only doing it to get in her knickers. That is what we call a dick, ladies and gentlemen. Right, where is the... Oh, there's no yellow on here at the moment. Oh, maybe it's on a, another page. Hold on, let me. I feel like this playthrough is going to reveal a lot of personal thoughts from us. Like, yeah. it's... Like we're all like, oh, let's play funny joke shit like that, and instead, no, we're gonna we're gonna get super political and reveal how we feel about certain certain people and shit like that. It is. Yep, it's gonna become that. May maybe the the contradiction because she said that she doesn't. Juliet said that she doesn't dance, that she doesn't go out at night. That's a yeah, good she, point. Uh, yeah, that. When was that photo taken? That's a good point. Let me have a quick look back. Uh, that photo Let was me... taken on July fifth, twenty sixteen, uh, which I think was a little while um, after Juliet started. Yeah, she met um, Cassandra in twenty seventeen. What did she yeah. say? But um, yeah, the uh, the yellow's not coming up for. I'm not no. keen going out at night, so maybe it's just ne something. Never mind. Just... Maybe it's something that comes up later. Maybe, maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm just like trying to read it too deeply into shit. Maybe we're going like we're going too fast. Maybe like we're going. Oh, I hate it when that. It's like an Ace Attorney where you're like, okay, I already know who did it and how they did it, but now I need to get to, I need to work my way to that point. Yeah. So let's move on to the Rosen Technologies. Oh, that's the company that uh, Juliet works for, right? Yes. Oh, oh, look at that. This is the type of man that's like, yes, I am confident that I make loads of money. Is that Vincent Van Gogh from that one episode of Doctor Who? <laughs> I think it's the beard. It's just the yeah. beard. The Ten Commandments. Oh, God. When to be fair, go full on into Ten Commandments stuff, it's like, oh. No, that, that's, a, that's a, that shit I think a lot of companies do. You know, they say shit like this, any vision is valuable. But then when you have that vision, they get, no, you can't have that. Well, to be fair, like, not not any vision is valuable. I have a vision. What's your vision? That we use ferrets to power rocket ships to explore the seven, seven rings of the planet Forbulox that's hidden behind the moon. Right, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to call the cops. You stay there. <laughs> we now have Miss Ken Carrington's phone number. That photo's not great, Julia. I'm sorry. Your left eye looks bigger than the other. <laughs> also, it says here that, uh, again, maybe I'm reading too much into this. She's a substitute for someone? So she's not... I think it's with the person above her. When, um... Can we scroll it up and it's Cassandra? What? what? <laughs> Good work. The listener will also track incoming and outgoing telephone calls of numbers you have added. Oh, yeah, she's a friend. She's a substitute for um, Maria Harper, who looks a little bit like Jenna Coleman. 
just with a different colour hair and glasses. Huh, does a little bit. Right. So is all well? Is all well just been like ripping photos of celebrities? <laughs> like, just pick, just like, and then like doing the whole arty thing where they look like it's made out of triangles, just to make it look as if like they're not the celebrities. No, no, it, it might be the um, uh, Google images, like the the ones that you can use for free. Maybe, yeah. Which, to be fair, or... if, you, if you, uh, as an indie company and and making this type of game where you don't need to really rely on too much stuff like that. It's a, it's a good idea. Or like those photos, you know, you know when you buy a photo frame and it's got that stock photo already in it? That's, that's what that, I meant, the stock of, photos. Of the happiest middle class white family you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> and you're just there like, no one's that happy. No. <laughs> uh. Oh. Suddenly voice acting. Oh, no, no, no it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be text. I, I thought for one moment, wait, are we actually going to have di- Oh, okay. Okay, oh, so she- her mother. I was just going to say that it's because she's at work. Hmm. Oh, it's- Ah, oh, so this is with the, uh, the, the nightmare couple. So she was meant to come home for dinner as- Ah, she lives with her parents. There we go. Let's put that in. Now to find her parents' address. And actually, she's going out clubbing in Bonton. And uh, mother does not like that. No. Mostly because of, you know, to, to be fair, if I was her mum, I'd be a little bit like... Uh... Yeah, I, I, I would be the exact the same. It's like, there's been an attack. Please come home. Oh, I love I love this argument. You won't have much freedom left if you're dead. <laughs> but we know she actively dislikes going out. People are truly creatures of habit. Maybe she really does want to go out, but this seems a little odd. What is she really Unless doing? She... Unless she's hanging out with like Harrison again. Also, conf confirmation that Juliet is part of Thoughts, because her mum says this ridiculous group has gotten you into nothing but trouble. Yeah. And also, there's a Victor Rosen who can personally fire her. We well, that's probably the boss. Yeah, the up, uh, like the head honcho, the big guy, the top dog, the Godfather, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were we talking about? See, at first, this is, at first, I'm like, oh man, this is so cool. We're getting new info, and then I'm like, oh god, I'm I'm listening in on a private conversation. That, I am the worst. That is the thing. Like, technically, what you're doing is right. Like, you're trying to solve this case. You're trying to stop bombings. But how you're doing it is you are actively going into people's private lives, which is kind of morally wrong. Yeah. It is interesting that little dynamic. done with um, Rosen, I guess. And is there something else on their website? Whoa, wait, what was that back there? Something about Rosen? Oh, that's what I'm, I'm looking on. Which one was you looking at? Now, see, this is, this is the problem with the delay, is the fact that like <laughs> I see I see shit after James has already left, so I'm like, wait, check that, and James is, check what? <laughs> it was like a news article about Rosen, like, joining up with some other company or something. Like, starting a deal. Oh, like it wasn't... good eye. I did not see that. Like, again, I don't know. It could be nothing, but... With the Davenport siblings. Biggest of the social networkings. Not Sadly... the Davenport siblings. <laughs> Sadly, no blues. But that might be something that comes up. That might be something we need to keep an eye on. Um... Nope. Right, okay, so I think we're kind of done with most of those ones, so I think we now need to look into some of the other little red bits that we had. Like the fact that we've now got Cassandra. Ah, uh, that's Victor Rosen, the, uh, the ginger-haired guy. Yeah. Could he be important? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I did not see this before. It's not Thoughts. blue. 
I've gone back onto the website and looking at the comment section for Fort, where Goldfell says Fort must change direction for what they're doing, and then this commenter. Oh, uh, did you see that? This is what we wanted. What you wanted. Mm-hmm. Great way to deflect blame, guy. We say guy. We I think we can kind of tell who it is. Oh, we don't, we don't know yet. Also, God, I love that classy, you know, image. You know, with the skull and crossbones. It's like you just could not be any more generic. Yeah. Right, I am coming up with nothing so far, but I don't want to use that one yet. Just in case it goes, aha, I knew it, Cassandra is a terrorist because she's been attacking people all the time. I don't, I don't think the party stuff will be relevant to what we're trying no. to find out. I would like the fort stuff. Unless something has come up in this. Nope. Oh, Fort Stelligan University. Hmm, what are we missing? So we've got. We need to find her home address because her home address is also her parents' home address. Yeah. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to Juliet's timeline. Uh, I'm on. I'm on her timeline now. Doesn't it say like her place of residence is fair far Oh no, yeah, we already got that shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I was putting the pieces together. I, I, yeah, I was thinking. Oh, uh, oh, god damn it! It turns out the two pieces I had were two corner bits. It's like, oh no. Aha! Hold on, I think I found it. We are the Carringtons. Sorry, Mike. You're gonna have to look at the nightmare image for a little while longer. They're burning into my soul! Yep, here we go. A house in Malloy Court, a cosy little spot in Farmview. And we know she lives oh, with her parents. They rent their place out. Uh -huh. Oh, that's that's not good. Huh, funny. This is right around the corner from where I live. <laughs> I'm going to invite myself to their that, does that mean you're Does that mean you're connected, Symes? Are you part of the... Oh, what a twist that would be if it turns out that Symes was the mastermind. All along. Or like if he if like he was tricking you into getting like innocent people arrested so that he could continue like his bombing spree whilst other people took the fall for it. <laughs> and we're seeing all of the different Carringtons. Ah, Carrington the first. <laughs> May Carrington. Oh wow. <laughs> she looks terrified of her own phone. Yeah. <laughs> June Carrington. Favorite color ultramarine. Ah, there's Juliet. Let's have another photo. Right, so we got. Wait a second. Did you just notice that the first three kids were called April, May, and June? Wait. What? Oh my god! April, May, June. And you broke the streak when you had Juliet! How dare you! <laughs> I suppose like... July, Carrington, would have really worked, so they went with Juliet. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, I'll give him a bit of slack. Right. Right, I don't think red. <laughs> Favourite colour, red, like the blood of my enemies. What was that, Juliet? <laughs> uh, nothing. Um. Oh, I think we found the conflict. Do you remember that photo of Harriet and Juliet where they were together and they were in a band? Well, it yeah. says here that she is now single and she was a former member of a band. What? Uh, so something's happened, so that is very important. We'll put that in in a moment. Is Harrison a filthy, filthy liar? Or holds on to the past way too much. Oh, he's one of those ex-boyfriends. Mm -hmm. And she studies at Media Economy, just to make absolutely sure we got that in. Um, none of these are really important. Except for this one. Let's put this in. Bomb bomb. Oh, something's updated. 
I'm ah. suspicious of the I'm suspicious of the banana and the muffins. Oh, I, oh, oh, God! What, what's going on? The target Remember, is not a band she enjoyed. She was part of the targets. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moment right there where the screen cuts to black and you get the to be. Oh, we got a new listener. Also, also, this is interesting. The target's logo is completely different to the logo that we saw on the timeline. Yeah. The target, uh, the one that's now is just, I think it's just a guy, which I assume is Harrington, at the front of it. So. They must, they must have changed like their aesthetic or whatever you want to call it after she left. Yeah, you can see it here. Like, um, it's just three guys. And, oh dear God, the guy with the green hair. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the the, fa the faces aren't great. I'm sorry. We, I'm sorry. We keep harping on this, but like, I was just more taking. I just. Um. Days have not been kind to Green Day right here. <laughs> it went. It all went downhill after the Green Day musical. <laughs> oh god! Right. So we now have a new photo for Harrison. Also, kind of appropriate that his stage name is Hancock. Very appropriate. <laughs> oh, oh, that's quite an ego we've got there, haven't we? Oh, what? Yeah, hold on. Former members, Trotsky. This is the, po the photo that's on the, uh, the website, the timeline. Yeah. So... This Trotsky guy was probably like the lead member of the band, like or like the face of it. Yeah. But then he left. But they haven't removed his photo. Interesting. And maybe, yeah. may, maybe his departure's only been super recent. Maybe. Maybe disagreements have been held up there. So yeah. Also, also the fact Juliet. the fact that Juliet left, although it does, it did specify that she was single again, wasn't she? So yeah, they've they're not a thing anymore. Hang on, there's a new conversation with Juliet. Oh, Cassandra's talking now. Oh, got her one phone call. Yeah, and it's not with her lawyer. <laughs> it's like, hello, yes, it's Juliet. Shit, wrong number. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is not, this isn't Cassandra. This is Joseph. Oh, he's, oh. He's, he's using her chat to try and find out where, he, where she is. So wait, would they... Okay, the fact that the cops have not phoned, like, her next of kin or anything to let them know what's going on is kind of scary. Yeah, I was about to say, that that should not be happening. Oh dear, um, that's evidence to... I think that's evidence to put in, because that's like saying, oh... Not too uncommon in a relationship, is it? That's still something that to bring up. Juliet just thinks she's still at home. Yeah, but surely that'd be the first place he'd check. Yeah, here he went to her home because he has a key to her flat. And her PC was still on, so he knows that something's up. And I think Juliet's co uh, copping onto that as well. Private is my default setting after I am a lawyer. Oh my god, the lawyer is a lawyer? <laughs> like, Symes, did you know this shit? <laughs> of course. Hmm. I don't think we need that, because we already know he's a lawyer. Oh, Juliet's bringing something up. They had an argument. Langney's a little bit like, oh, you, you know her better than I do. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a conflict. I'm waiting for it. Freedom Plaza was organized by Fort. Yeah, but Harrison did all the Harrison did all the planning for us. So does that mean Harrison's part of the group as well? Yeah, but we have to. Oh, oh no, it's ended. Oh no. So we're gonna have to look for everything to find the bloody conflict that's just risen up. There is a conflict with one unknown data chunk, right? So, so we haven't seen that conflict yet. We do, however, have. Oh, hello. What is this? The fort. Decibels, numbers, decibels, letters. What the hell? I'm guessing these are meant to be. Whoa. Wait! What's oh, the James, actual? James, don't do this to me. James, don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, oh my God, they're doing a thing! <laughs> Wait, what's oh. the actual? The moment I, you open that dock, the malicious code injection was detected in Orwell. We've had 47 attack warnings and still counting. What the hell is on that site? Poor. Oh god. Oh god. Are we gonna get like an ominous figure appear in the chat saying, it's like, you watch us, well, we watch you or something? You think you are hiding from us, but you are being seen. Oh dear. Oh, no. I... Yeah, I think this is all the same page. Yeah, I think we can't do anything on these until we can get them unencrypted. Yeah, so some. Somebody has hijacked the website, or maybe this is the thought itself. And it's encrypted to like hide like they're, the evidence. They're buggering up their own website so nobody can access it. Oh, I've just gone back onto the uh, the banned website, the targets. Apparently, Hancock, aka Mr. Harrison, quit the band. They do say no official confirmation, though. But it might be something to... Also, according to Target Lover 89, uh, Tubman, who is Juliet, uh, it sounds like maybe her reasons for leaving aren't known. Mm. Interesting. That... See, this is why you don't date co-workers. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he started singing, it went, no. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to unmute real quick just so I can hear this. <laughs> I think you might have missed it. Oh, but we have Hancock's mail address. Let's put that in. Excellent. We now have access to any emails coming in or out of his account. And there we go, there's the listener. Let me guess, this is where we're I'm, gonna find the contradiction. I must have missed it, because I think all I was hearing was just the general background music. Yeah, I think, um... Oh, you'll see it when the, the video goes up. Yeah. Because I, I do that. I always, whenever we finish recording a show or doing a film commentary, I always watch it afterwards, because I've got an ego. <laughs> it's also... It is, as much as you have that cringe of, oh, listening to yourself and everything, it is good to watch back your stuff. I use it for critique. Learn. Yes. Yeah. You learn where you went wrong, what you need to work on for future stuff. Yeah. Wait, what's this? Oh, Mr. O'Donnell's been ordering flowers. To an Angela. Whoa, I missed that. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, so wait, 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 wait. When was the date for this? Is this recent? Um, April 14th. Very recent. Okay, that that is recent. So this this is up. So it so it's not like he did this before he broke up. No. So let's, let's put that in because it might give us a, a little we'll find. Oh, I think that was something. And also his <laughs> bank account number. Oh, that might come in handy. 
we should not be reading that. <laughs> I mean, I know this is a video game and it's all fake. We're not really looking at other people's... Oh man, imagine if this was like some Ender's Game level of bullshit. Oh. Also, sorry if you've not read or watched Ender's Game. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, oh god, we've got to look through his entire um, back pay from the oh, First this... National Bank. Oh, this should be a joy. Right, let's see. Porn, porn, more <laughs> porn, even more porn. Uh, Harrison, you may have a problem, man. <laughs> well, you make that joke, but there is something easy vid on demand monthly. Oh. Um, the people's, the people's drugs, drugs and pharma. Mm. Life health insurance. Whoa, what's this health insurance shit? Life Trust Health Insurance owns two health insurances. One's nine hundred and five, and another is four hundred and fifty-four. He's a frequent customer of the Bonton Drugstore. And he. Get a large payment from the National Beholder. What? Yeah, very big, as in 3,500 big. Okay, he's up to something. And if you look here, March 16th, he was on 37, and he was going into debt, into debt, and then suddenly a huge payment comes in from National Beholder. Oh yeah, because yeah, that overdraft charge, like he's getting... And as you can see here, in just a, not even a month, a few weeks, he's already down like, to less than had, half. Yeah, he had no money, and then he was spending shit at the supermarket, at the drugstore, and then he gets a ton of it from the National Beholder, and he's able to take, and he's able to get two health insurance things. Yeah. Some things. So what, what was he paid all that money for? I think we've got some things to look good to. Let's, so let's James, on. we need to go deeper. <laughs> yes. Either he values his hygiene, or it might as well be material intended to wash away a freedom memorial. Oh yeah, because you can buy, you can buy stuff like that at supermarkets. Oh god, that's oh that's not gonna work. Right, let's put this life trust health insurance because I get the feeling we're gonna find a website for that. Yeah, I for some reason I find that weirdly suspicious. A guy his age planning on doing something dangerous, perhaps. And well, if he if know. he if he frequents a drugstore so often, you know, mm. and he is in a band, I'm not saying that all bands do it, but there's a reason it's a, there's a reason it's a stereotype. Yeah. And finally, the National Beholder Publishing. This is going to be big. Like, stereotypes suck. Don't get me wrong. Like, never do it. But there is a reason they exist. Yeah. Payment from the National Beholder sounds like some sort of secret affiliation. Keep looking for more info. Okay. Look at any... Before I go on, let's look at this. He's getting a huge payment from the National Beholder, and he's using a lot of money. Now, if it turns out the National Beholder's, like, dying or falling apart and they need a story, maybe that's something else. Or well, maybe... May, he... may, it's entirely possible. Maybe he knew something that was... that You know, one of those things where I've got, like, an revelationary new story for you. Pay me, and I'll give it to you. Maybe. Ooh, there's so much. What if he's trying to sell out the very activist group he's a part of? Oh, he's Game of thrones in this shit. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing coming out of this, but... Well, what's this? Security warning. Unrecognized access to accounts. Oh god, they know! That's us! Oh shit! That's actually okay. Like from from like a player standpoint, that's terrifying. From like a cre like from my creative mindset, that's really cool. The fact that like you're you're going into people's personal affairs with no repercussions, and then all of a sudden you check this guy's bank account, and then you and then you check his email, and you see he's received an email about you re getting into his bank account. Why do I get the feeling that he is like um, Cassandra, and he has bigger parents than we think? Oh, can you can you imagine? Wait a second, O'Donnell, as in President O'Donnell? Oh God! Oh God, no! 
Okay. Um, we did we, have... I'm waiting for a moment where like the chat opens and it's Harrison going like, "I know what you're up to," and it's like, "Oh no." Sorry, Mr. O'Donnell. I just put that my room for a laugh. And also, it it has the most douchiest look in its place, so it goes with the the, the map. Yeah. Um, something did. <laughs> who up. is the douche and who is the man? <laughs> Beauty and the douche. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Wait, there oh, it is. Oh. I just have to get to know Juliet, especially since she is the one organizing this. Oh. Oh, I love that Eureka moment. Oh, so Juliet is saying he did it, but Cassandra is saying that Juliet did it. So it's not I even think Harrison it's... that's saying it. No, what it's meant to be is that Juliet is the one who usually organizes them, but for whatever reason, Harrison decided to organize yeah, so that's the conflict. Oh. And then go to the other one where it says, she says that Harrison planned it. Um, when was, this was April 14th. Where was the other one? But that, was, that was today. That's, oh yeah, yeah, she did. You're correct. Right, so, oh, that's, I love it when a plan comes together. All right. If I if I had a cigar, this would be the part where I put it in my mouth and immediately take it out because I don't smoke. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> right, to go then. Let's put. Oh, wrong profile. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 that would be, this would be for Harrison O'Donnell. There we go. Oh. He planned this protest that went completely awry. Doesn't sound like very good planning to me. Or maybe it didn't go awry at all. Yeah, that was yeah, that was the um the the the, the protest where the poli the policeman like got, got involved. Got... Yeah. When Cassandra hit him to save Juliet. Is that what Harrison planned? Oh. Symes, I think you're making him out to be smarter than he really is. Well, I suppose he must have some level of intelligence, but like. Maybe he's much more cunning than I gave him credit for. Well played, Mr. O'Donnell. Well, well played. played indeed. So that Freedom Plaza demonstration was one of Fort protests. Not immensely surprising. No, because we kind of knew that already, Symes. <laughs> Symes is like five steps behind us, yeah. and then and then acting as if like he's developed, like got into some major insight. Whenever he finally catches up. One down, two more protest locations to go. Oh. There is a new phone call, and it's coming from Mr. O'Donnell to Juliet Carrington. <laughs> oh. I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting for you to go, oh, it's a new phone call, and it's coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> the game has gained sentience. No, I'm just saying it like you then get you know, like you get a phone call from Orwell, and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> Okay, so Juliet's calling Harrison. Yeah. And he's like, well, 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 look who it is. Oh. Oh dear. Wellity, wellity, wellity. <laughs> or should you say, all wellity? Yeah. Oh. Oh. God, this guy is such a fuck. <laughs> Like, she phones him up, and he's immediately like, Ah, oh, yes, Liz, I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Ever since we first made that... Oh, 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 listen to him! To what do I owe the pleasure of your beautiful... Fuck off, mate! <laughs> oh, and look at this! Harrison offered to maintain the thought page, and now the thought page has crashed. What the fuck is this shit? And he's, uh, he's claiming ignorance. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hello. Juliet just dropped a bombshell. He bailed out of fort. Ah, he left the group. Wait, since Abe disappeared? As in... He's missing. As in Goldfeld isn't around anymore? 
disgraced Thor before by hiding all of the articles on the Thor blog except Cassandra's. Oh. Maybe he's not the one who's like directly involved, but he's like helping the person who actually did it to, to make put the blame on Cassandra. There it is. He deleted all his rebellious posts so he could get a job writing for the TNB. Oh. All his talk of rebelling against the system, and he's writing for the national newspaper. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hypocritical shit. And that's the Baron Cole. Oh, oh, we have got so much to add. Right, um, I don't think that one's necessary for the moment, but... Right, so let's just recap. Harrison left Fort. He offered to maintain the page. He's now working for the TMB. He believes that Abe has disappeared, which is a very ooh moment. Oh, is that so? We still need to keep observing him, though. Um, well, I'm just waiting for. I'm just waiting for the moment where Simonson goes. You know, I find a kindred spirit in Mr. O'Donnell. I do. <laughs> I too know what it is like when bitches reject me, despite my brimming personality. Like I'm a nice guy. Oh, as soon as he said, as soon as they say nice guy. Ugh. Abraham Goldfield disappeared, causing the group to be inactive. Oh. They are no longer active. That's a point. We've been running on the assumption that Thor might be behind the bombings, but if they're not active anymore. Who is behind it? And is somebody somebody trying to pass the buck onto Thought? Or like a splinter group? Oh, I love splinter groups! Well, seems to me like someone still is. Oh, oh, and we got a new uh, message thing. This is some conspiracy level shit. It's gonna turn out that the goddamn president of the world is actually behind all of this. There really is an Illuminati. Seems that today's new targets have a common history. Something more than belonging to Fort. You disgrace Fort by hiding all the articles and put that in. I do appreciate the fact that the game tells you that, oh, you can't put that information in there because it's the wrong profile. Yeah. So it doesn't like, it doesn't fuck you over in the long run. Though that being said, I do like how it keeps on saying every time, you know, you can't undo it when you put in this information. Mm -hmm. So you still have to be careful. Remind me, what does dis disabling basically means that that data chunk is never seen by Symes, doesn't it? Like it's it, effectively you're wiping it from the system or hiding it, basically. I think so. And we haven't had to do we haven't had to do that yet, though, have we? I might try and do it with that one. Whenever the one that we we thought now this ain't relevant because it just makes it sound like she tortures her friends. Yeah. I might disable that and see if that's actually the case. Because can can you undisable any information when you do that? Because it might be a good. It might just be there so that you can, if you see anything that you think is irrelevant, you can get rid of it. So you're not constantly. Whenever you go back, you're like, yeah, like, oh, there's a new bit. Oh wait, no, it's that bit of irrelevant information. You know what? Let's do that after we've gone through this page. All right. First the timeline, now the fort block. Because we're not really talking about the game itself, <laughs> are we? It's like... <laughs> you have a lot to hide, Mr. O'Donnell. Right, Abe archived the first one because he didn't even want us to know. Oh. Oh, he has some things to hide as well. Let's go back to Mr. O uh, Mr. Goldfells. Let's have that in. Yeah, Gold Goldfells, that's his name. Yeah. This gets more confusing by the minute. Why do you hide something on a group's blog from its own members? It's going to get so complex when it gets to the very end, and then you're just going to get a pop-up message from Simon that just says, April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? what? Everything, everything has just been an elaborate prank. What, even the, even the establishment of the new government? Yep. yep. All did that just to mess with you. <laughs> Why? Well, it's a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Sorry about that, but a quick jump cut there, ladies and gentlemen. I had to take a quick phone call. Right, so where were we? Right, Juliet said something as well. That he is a columnist for the TV. We now return to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Perfect. He is all part of the system, man. And we got a related document out of it all. Hey, I read this one guy quite regularly. I wasn't aware it was our guy. 
The TMB probably didn't know either. He's like, oh no, I enjoyed articles written by my enemy. <laughs> I thought he had some great views, and then I found out he's a douche. You know, you know, it's like those people who are like, you know, ah, oh, this food is sp splendiferous. Who, who concocted this creation? And they find out it's the lower class commoner, and then they go, it's not that good, actually. Up ends the table. <laughs> Perfect. Also, this must be what the large payment he received was for. Oh, <laughs> and then Simes just goes, I don't get paid that much for my job. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not thinking of getting paid. Oh, there's a Harrison O'Donnell. I oh. Hello. <laughs> see, because of this bloody delay, like, oh, I see it too now. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, this is what I wanted though. From unknown person to Harrison O'Donnell. Knock, oh. knock, Harrison. Oh, Seems okay. I caught you pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? Why, that's fine. You don't know me, and I like to keep it that way. But I don't know a lot about you, media punk. If you knew what I knew what you knew about what this little group of yours did, you would find it just as hard to ignore that those bombs might just carry your name tag. Get what I'm talking about, right? So, the Righteous Hacker Initiate would expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the gov, but I would do what I must. So give me one good reason not to do it I might reconsider. So now there's a third faction in all this? Jesus! That's all we needed. Yeah, this... Yeah, they're being blackmailed. Also, I'm sorry again for, like, another Persona 5 reference, but this is literally, like... A anyone who's played Persona 5 will get this reference. This is this is Medjet. This is bloody Medjet. <laughs> right, we need to find Futaba Sakura, go into her palace and change her heart so she can help us battle Medjet. Oh, that's... Oh, wow, this is... I'm, I'm loving this so much. No, Symes, I, Symes, I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> oh, great. Now there is a hacker involved in all this. Because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. This is like in bloody, you know, like in, in, in Injustice 2 coming up. You know, it's like, okay, the, we got to deal with a society. Oh, now Superman's broken out of prison. Oh, now Brainiac's arrived. That's all we needed. <laughs> Do we want to have another problem? Uh, hey, Darkseid, you want to show up? <laughs> oh, God. I wonder what this is about. Oh. These bombs might just carry your name tag. This definitely got to bring up because it's not him. Yeah, so this means that Harris Harrison isn't responsible for the bombings, but whoever this whoever this initiate is is threatening to pin the blame on Harrison. But at the same time though, it doesn't sound unless oh seems we're not the only ones interested. Here's the question: Is the person sending him this email the actual bomber, and they're and they're ready to put the blame on Harrison, or are they are they unrelated to the bombings, but they just they see Harrison as an obstacle or a threat, and they just want a reason to get rid of him? Oh, that's a good that's a good point. Because it'd be very easy to just say, oh yeah, this is the true this is the true culprit, this is the actual bomber, but something tells me it's not going to be that simple. As, as we have already seen, and we're only in episode two, nothing is this simple. I wonder if this guy has any proof of what he claims. Got... <laughs> he doesn't need proof, he can make the proof. And we got another one. RE, I see. Oh, Harrison, I think, has replied back. Yep. Harrison to initiate. Hey, wise ass. <laughs> <laughs> Great, great start to someone threatening you, Harrison. <laughs> Brilliant move. This is the most pathetic blackmailing attempt I've read in a long time. You want a damn good reason not to call the cops? I can give you three. One, you hacked my site, i.e. my web server. Last time I checked, this was highly illegal. Something about glass houses and stones? Two, I don't get what you want to have found out about me. True, our protest didn't always go as planned, but since you claim to know so much about me, you should know that this was hardly my fault. What I wanted is all in my blog. Not a word about fucking bombing people, only grabbing attention. Bet you never even found that, huh? Where are your mad skills, hacker boy? I'll throw you a breadcrumb so you don't feel too miserable. My Nick. Three, I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave my page alone. 
roll it back, and then don't dare touch it again. I will get you, promise. H. P.S. For your own worthless sake, I hope it wasn't you who broke into my <laughs> bank account. Else you're neck deep in sheep shit. Even more than you already are. No, I thought I didn't. Oh. You can't see it, but I'm tugging at my collar like... Don't, don't. <laughs> Alright, so... Right, so we, so we have a blog to investigate. Put that in. Also, he he's, he talks about how his blog's all about how they sh they're about uh, only grabbing attention. Funny thing is, attention is what he calls his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, we got, actually got something new from the National Beholder. Shut the Pargesian border. Oh, no. Oh, and it's from Dickhead. The National Opinion. Shut the Pargesian... <laughs> Oh it's god, he's gonna, turn, he's gonna turn out to be the at the Katie Hopkins of this. How dare you d disgrace our playthrough with that name. Like, <laughs> playthrough's ca Let's Play's cancelled. <laughs> it's, it's been tainted. I am sorry. I'll bleep the name out in, in the post. Also, just a quick look at like these first couple of paragraphs, and it doesn't sound like the kind of thing a, a newspaper like this would allow to be published. Like, it just comes across as super whiny. Yeah. Then again, that's most newspapers. Yeah, but I mean, there's normally, like, you know, they they try and make their whiny sound a bit more... Professional. Well, yeah, professional. This doesn't this doesn't come across as professionally written. Who would actually hire Harrison O'Donnell? Like, even looking at his picture, he doesn't look... Oh, fucking look at this, where he wrote in the last paragraph. Who knows? Maybe next week a bomb will go off in the middle of Far Farview or Bonton. And it's like... You, ab you absolute cock. You utter idiot. Well, we better put that in, because he... Even if you are innocent, you have essentially gone, I'm actually a bomber. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I read the article. That you was were... strange indeed, and with the bombings now... Even so Symes was... has caught on. Symes! This, so, so was this written before the first bombing? Um, I'm assuming so. It doesn't have... Uh... Oh, yes, it does. April the 8th, so yes, it was. It was a few days before. So he did predict the bombing. I either that's one of uh, either that's one of the coincidences that Simes doesn't believe in, or he actually is connected. Yeah. Also, what's this? Safety of any safety of any citizens of utmost importance. This is a discre this is a discrepancy. Yes, and I, I am because we have just unlocked his uh his uh where is it? His blog. Hancock's writing on the wall. I'm going to take a guess and say that that is going to appear into that. Yeah, though it says there, there's two discrepancies. It is? Yeah, when you clicked on the one in the article, there was like two possible discrepancies. Oh crap! Oh god, there's gonna be multiple. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> also headlines, that's got something. Oh god. I thought that was his hair for a moment, but no, it looks like a ring or something. Oh! Watergate oh. Pharmaceutical CEO Bruno Watergate and wife Alice investigated for accounting fraud. This is why they called the characters the Watergates. Because <laughs> this would never happen in real life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, writers of this game, I do applaud you for that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so basically, and, and, Cassandra's and, and, parents. At least this would actually make sense for people to go... Like, you know how now... Like, as somebody pointed out, you know how people keep going, Oh, is this the... Is, you know, oh, is this Bridgegate? Is this the Bridgegate? Is this the Boatgate scandal? And it's yeah. like, it wasn't called the Watergate scandal because gates were involved. It was called the Watergate scandal because that was the name of the hotel. <laughs> You're not being clever. Uh, right. I so think we... that was, that was um, Little Karibo that made that joke on one of his Mark Remark episodes. Yeah, I think he did. A quick plug for Mark Remark. Go watch it, even if you don't keep up with wrestling. Oh, it's really good. His new photo here looks like Nick Frost with Goku's hair. <laughs> well, now I want a movie of that. <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution 2, starring Nick, Nick Frost, Frost as Son Goku. <laughs> oh. Simon Pegg as Krillin. At least Krillin would actually be in a DBZ 
live action movie. Oh god, there's another discrepancy that isn't a conflict of the other discrepancy. Wait, plans to occupy Stelligan University? He was never a student there, was he? No, he was a guest. Is that the discrepancy? No, this is not even connected to the other discrepancy. Look, yep. there is a conflict with one unknown data chunk. This is you a... say, you say, look, when I'm on a delay. Okay. It's like... <laughs> when you get there. Also, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but at the bottom there it mentions that he lives in a trailer. trailer. Um, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, what's on. this? Bonton, Li Bonton Liberator and Professional Douche. Okay, people, if your profile includes the phrase professional douche, you're not being, oh, look how clever I am. You're just being a douche. I love it, even Symes is like, can you please get more stereotypically antisocial? Yeah, Harrison O'Donnell seems like the kind of guy who read up on how to be antisocial and is following a textbook. Yeah. He's there like, look how antisocial I am. Like, I, I dropped the stereotype of him living in his mum's basement, but I think even his mum would have moved out by this point. Oh no, she wouldn't have moved out, she would have kicked his ass out. Yeah. Alright, so we found one of the two conscriptions. Oh yes, the there it is. I cannot even find the words for how mind-bogglingly stupid the government's plan is. So we got one where the government, he... Well it, done. Yeah, and that's... that. Oh, oh that's nice, when, when you find... When you find a discrepancy, it says, okay, there, this this contradicts with something. And then when you find the appropriate one, it tells you, this is it. Yeah. And you can actually go back to the other one. So, as, as, it's, I suppose you make the argument that it's sort of, like, sort of leaving breadcrumbs for you, basically saying, don't worry, we're keeping you on the path. We're not going to, like, mess you up or anything. So it's not, you like, you don't have to work too hard to put it, it's not as brain taxing as something like Ace Attorney. Sorry, I'm rambling, but... Uh, but it, it, it basically means that you won't get lost, which, as you can see a few times this playthrough, we can get lost very easily. Yeah. Right, I'm going to take a guess and say that the last one's going to be in Juliet's timeline. We've looked through the wall of text. We've found All another well. discrepancy, but not related to the other. Orwell is very much one of those games where it it doesn't it's not handholdy and it is sort of like a puzzle game. It wants you to figure things out for yourself, but it's not going to be a total dick about it. And it's more about... Its primary focus seems to be telling a story and is just casually guiding you through it. It's creating the illusion that you're figuring it all out for yourself. There's enough there's enough there to make sure you don't get too lost, but it doesn't hold your hand all the way. Oh. It's not opening tutorial of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword levels of bad, is what we're saying. No. Oh, here's the Oh, so this is a discrepancy. Is oh, this is this is new. I even organised a peaceful protest at the Stelligan campus. That's what she said, and the other one was what Hancock said here. As soon as I get myself a handful of like-minded people, we're going to occupy that friggin' elitist university Stelligan. That's for sure. So he was on the mind of, I'm going to take... We're going to get this people, and we're going to take over this university. Yeah, like, it, like it's not part of the yellow text, but he says straight afterwards, I bet we could scare the cardigan-wearing conformists. So he was going, he wasn't, he clearly had no intentions of peaceful protest. Yeah. But what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? While Juliet was under the impression that it was going to be a peaceful protest. Well, it says, it says there, like she organized, yes, I'm assuming she's not saying she was planning this and it was going to happen until the, after the bombing, but it's the fact that maybe this happened because yeah, uh, Harrison wrote this in 2014. Yeah. So which is the one that we think should be the uh, the conflict, the one we should put into the profile? Uh... Harrison's maybe? I feel yeah. like he's more... I feel like it's just because he's clearly shown he's more likely to lie than Juliet. Yeah. And even yeah. if he isn't lying here, I think it's more likely that he that he didn't go through with this. He sounds like someone who talks a big talk, but ultimately doesn't commit. As we've seen where he's left. Yeah. Port. Freedom Plaza and Stelligan. Very well, it is a pattern. Exactly as we suspected. The 
but we still have no idea about the third location. Yeah, I think this is what's going on here. So, ha like, Hancock has, or Harrison rather, has referred to uh, both the plaza and the, and the university, both which got bombed. And he talks about that because he talks about, oh, I predict that maybe a bombing will happen at the Freedom Plaza and it got bombed. He talks about, you know, scaring and like scaring the conformists. And look, it got bombed. So now we need to find where is this third one and can we stop it? Can we save these people? Oh, yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's it. We're trying to predict where the next bombing might be. Mm -hmm. You need to be diligent now. Lives might hang in the balance. In the worst case that we cannot determine the location on time. Well, I might have to conduct an interrogation with Miss Watergate. I want to avoid it, though. She's behaving very pretty defiantly, I've been told. Looking at what you found so far, I think I might have enough information to put some pressure on her. Oh, oh, we got we got two new things. We got a new thing on the website and a new thing in Listener. Let's go to Listener. Uh oh. <laughs> Time for my f the fav the best part of my day listening in on people's phone calls. Well, this one is an email, and oh dear, I think uh, initiate is knocking. Oh back. god! Oh, the only thing worse than R E I C U R E R E I C U. <laughs> knock knock, Harrison. The forts are free once again. We are not done yet, you and me. The first on, I must turn to another. Oh shit! This is the this is the part where. You know, like you get a like from Harrison's perspective, some guy's giving him a comment, so he's replies back, not expecting them to reply back. Yeah. Oh, this is not looking good. You know, it's like it's like what you know, like some some trolls do, where like someone goes, oh, like here's a photo of me in Paris, and they go, hey, fuckface, you ugly lol, and then they go like, and then they get a reply back saying, I know where your grandma lives, I've sent her this, and it's. Yep. And oh dear, the fort's just been unlocked. So the site's back, but... What's been changed? Let's go from nine and downwards. So, so, far, so far it seems to have gone, gone back to normal. But originally, um, I think I went on or seven it... last time and it just, um, it was 404, could not find. Oh, it's 403, hang on. Right, let's see. Are all of these still forbidden, or has one of them changed? Let's just go. Oh! Hang on. No. Oh, wait, no, that. This was one of those that was done. Never mind. No, it's. They're all still forbidden, so some. Yeah, everything has gone back to the way it was before the site got hacked. That can't just be it. The hacker couldn't have, like, just let it go back to normal and not done anything else. Yeah, something... I think I might have missed... Oh, hang on. Oh, I did not see this page. Uh, Hancock's writing on the wall. Leave a message. There are messages in here. Let us see if there's... Let us see if there is... Oh! Message left by Goldfells. I am looking for people willing to join a debate cup called the Fort, and I think your presence could really liven up the discussion. Yeah, that's uh, that's one way of calling it, Goldfell. Well, at the time, that's what it was. Yeah, but I think uh, inviting I think... the guy who's like fascist pigs. I think Goldfell's is more like he wants to bring in. I I think it's one of those moments where Goldfell's like, okay, I don't completely agree with what this guy is saying, but I feel like I can put him in the right direction. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, oh, yeah, it's, it's one of those moments where this man has the right idea. He's just going about it the wrong way. And I feel like I need to sort of invite maybe talking with similarly minded people will sort of help, you know, calm him down and maybe give him better insights. Mm. Clearly, that didn't work. No, <laughs> it went horribly wrong. And even signs are like, I feel a little confused now. <laughs> is this for a blog, an activist group or a debate club? Perhaps all three? Probably. Oh, something new is updated. Also, don't like. I, I just remembered, like, Goldfells is apparently missing. Like. Yeah, he is. We... Hopefully, we'll get to look into that when we get the chance. Maybe that'll be in the. <laughs> <episode. laughs> okay, Durox is my new favourite now. Your articles <laughs> suck, lol. You should go and write poetry. <laughs> Camp 
first life online. Oh, a debate club invitation. I would like to invite those who are interested to our newly founded debate club called The Thought. Part of a discussion forum around how people can be made aware of a topic in the age of information overflow. First, first comment I ever thought, you suck. <laughs> oh god, really, Rob? Ah, meetings will take place at Cafe Chestnut, the same cafe that was one of uh, Juliet's likes. Oh yeah. Oh my god. And you can visit our blog anytime. They really the put an ain't nobody got time for that yeah. meme in there. <laughs> At least they made it that it's like, oh, this guy's just a dick. Yeah, but it's also mean this get that it now means the game's gonna be super irrelevant in twenty years. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Whoa. There's a Nina. No, forget that. Concerned one again. Oh. My name is Nina. Nina? So there is another member we haven't even heard of yet. I will request clearance to make her a target. Ellipses. We got a green light. And <laughs> no, red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Let's go on to Nina, and she's known as Concerned One. And we got a related like, document out of it. Well, that's the same user that left that one comment on the first uh, post yes. on the... Goldfell's With the site. stolen crossbones. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. What a strange alias name. Ding dong. Oh! Something has been made new. A new entry has been made. Entry 5, Metamorphosis. Oh, and oh, this finally found the last conflict. There, these are uh, some of the old archived uh, articles. Ah, oh, and there, of course, they're Harrison's. Yep, this is the one that he was trying to hide. Well, one of many he was trying to hide. Of course, like he's been shit talking the government, and then when the opportunity arose for him to get a cushy job with the newspaper, he hid all those opinions. Uh huh. Now the question is, which conflict should we use? We got the West one where he's saying, "Oh, no, it's the parties all trying to look I after everyone." It needs to be the first one about shutting the Pargishan par border because he was talking about how, like, the party's premise has been working like a charm. But in Metamorphosis, he clearly thinks that whatever the party's doing is complete horseshit. Yeah. So what changed him? I, I don't think it, I don't think he changed. I think it's just like he saw an opportunity to get good work, but it just meant he couldn't be anti-government. So he just covered all that up, and is now only pretending to be like a law-abiding citizen. Yeah. Let's, let's put this one in then. Boink. Really? Are you positive on that? A fort member supporting the government's position? Well, you're the investigator and I trust you. <laughs> there comes the moment that I go, Shit, did I fuck up? <laughs> did you bugger us up, Michael? <laughs> well, I figured that if it was wrong, the game would just go, No, you're wrong, try again. Nope. I think the, the game just goes, Okay. Oh, is that? I hate it when the game does that. <laughs> oh, if, if that's if that's what you think. Well, now that you've said it like that, I don't think that anymore. No, no, no. You can be confident. No. I can't. Oh, dear. Yeah, so Concerned One, aka Nina, AKA clearly. Crazy. AKA doesn't seem to uh, particularly care about the cop getting his skull smashed in. No. And even says that uh, the cops had it coming for long. Hmm. I bet this goes both ways. And all the way back to the thing I messed up organising. Oh, she, organ she tried to organise something before joining Thought? Hmm. Interesting. What did she do for Thought that she might have messed up? You know what I'm suddenly reminded of in regards to how Orwell can like let you put in the wrong information yeah. and like it and it has repercussions later on. It's a little bit like LA Noir, because in LA Noir it was entirely possible to miss vital clues and information and shit. Yes. The problem with LA Noir though was that by the end of the game you got the right you got the culprit anyway. 
like I remember get I remember one case where I was tra- in LA Noir where you're trying to find out uh, like a, a young a young girl was uh, sexually assaulted and you were trying to find the guy who did it and like they caught the guy and he confessed and he's like he's like you're under arrest and you're under arrest guy and I'm like wait what what evidence do you have that says it's this guy and the guy went oh you got me and I'm like wait you are <laughs> Like, I didn't have the right uh, evidence, but the game said, like, no, no, it's definitely him. You got him. And it's like, oh. Okay. So I could have done super poorly the whole way through, and we still would have got him. Yep. And the oh. only the only ever, the only ever time in L.A. Noir where you got the wrong culprit was when it was integral to the plot. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe that'll be a similar thing here, maybe. Maybe what will happen is certain, like, certain characters might end up being arrested or lose their jobs if you give certain information or they'll stay fine if you give other pieces of information so maybe that one that we did for harrison maybe he won't lose his job at the day uh, the beholder because uh, well, oh no he's a, he's a believer in the government yeah but if we gave the other ones they might fire him because oh he clearly bullshitted us also we've got another thing here where he believes that the fort is a revolutionary activist group So, an activist group after all, and now we know who had the primary say in that. And there's this concerned again. Oh, this is a great moment. Where will we strike first? Yeah, that, that doesn't sound friendly. No. Let's piss oh. off the so-called young elites. Uh, music has just changed, and two big things have come up. I'm waiting. Oh dear. The government building. The government oh, and the. Bo- Wait, no. Bonten He's Mall. saying the government building, and she's saying Bonton Mall. Oh, this, this is James. The game is going to tell you to check one of these two places. And if we fuck up. If you and if you get it wrong, something's getting blown up. Oh crap! <laughs> oh crap! Okay, here's what I'm go- here's what I'm gonna say. If, if 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 the game tells us we need to pick one of these two locations to go check to think that there's a bomb there, I'm gonna say it's the mall because I don't think uh, Harrison's involved at all. See, and you know what? That's the reason why I think it might be the government building because they are trying to make it look like it's Harrison. Oh shit! <laughs> And also, we know that she hates the law enforcement and hates the government. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it is one of the, I this this is what I mean when this one is like the choices are like there is literally yeah this is one that can go either way and this is one of them. Okay, well we just have to progress. Like, check these discrepancies. Let's see. Right. So, and we literally know nothing about Nina apart from she despises law enforcement. Uh, she messed up organising. Oh. She messed up organising something for Fort. Maybe that was the Bonton Mall thing. Maybe that was the mess up. So they wouldn't do Bonton Mall again. Or maybe she would as a to cover up her past failure. Oh, I'm really torn on this one. Oh. Oh, this one I'm actually kind of torn on. Hold on, let me get Harrison's data. She, she is in contact with Harrison, so if she's allied with the hacker guy, like she could say, like, oh yeah, this, like, Harrison mentioned the government building before, bomb there. I'd also say it's like progression, because first they attacked the plaza, then it went up to a university, and it does sound it would go, government would be like a, a big yeah. step to that. Oh, but I don't know. The mall still sounds like it's a possible one. And also, we just put that he supports the government. Maybe this is like a big fuck you to him as well. Yeah. Oh. Like, oh, you, like you sold out, man. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I am really torn. Oh. I'm still tempted by government building, though. What do you think? You know, I always say go with your first guts. All right. I'm going to go with government building. Let's hope we don't mess up, guys. A 
government building? Holy, that must be it. That is where the third bomb will be. But which one? Didn't it say, that is all? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> so, it's like, okay, it's a government building, but which government building is... <laughs> oh, don't, because that makes it sound like I've messed up. Oh, don't. To, to... Oh, wait, no, because... Wait, no, 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 because Concerns One said A, a Bonton Mall. She didn't specify either. Oh, so, oh, so, God, e so even if we said, oh, it's going to be a mall, it's still like, which one, mate? There's yeah. like... Bonton's got like 20 of them. <laughs> all right. If that's all we have, it's what we have to work with, so... Let's get this interrogation thing going before we run out of time. Where is the trigger? Where is she? I am actually located in the same facility where Miss Watergate is being detained. I will have her move to an interrogation room and walk across. To cover my identity, I will connect to her via an internal hard drive. Let's just hope that with what you have, provided give us has enough leverage to go for her. I will open a connection for you to eavesdrop. After all, this is your case too. Plus, we need all the possible info found on Hall Orwell. Hold on. Oh, is this the insider? Oh no, it's a listener. Damn it. <laughs> That's what you get for being excited. What is this insider? I must know. It's gonna happen in the last case. Yeah. Okay. Sign. like, Miss Watergate, I need to ask you a few questions. I'll tell you everything. Oh, that was easy. Oh, okay. I love that he actually does tell her her name, even though he lives right near her best friend. To be fair, he's only like, my name is Symes. That's enough to go on. That's a, <laughs> great, Symes. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably be like, oh yeah, I was in here when the bomb went off. <laughs> I must be such a busy terrorist. I was right here imprisoned. Why is that a goddamn bomb that's delegant? I like her. She's got sass. Yeah. Oh, we caught her. My boyfriend. You oh, know they that. have nothing to do with it. Oh yeah, that was. <laughs> We know everything, Miss Watergate. He even says straight up says, we know a lot about you. Symes, you're coming off as incredibly creepy and threatening. Your defiance towards me is not... Why not just flash to straight up and go full on and resistance is futile? <laughs> just turn into the Bork. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, hello. Cassandra didn't quit her job. Her parents made her. Or suggested. Again, they care more about their name. And plus, they're in a scandal right now anyway. Yeah, so that didn't work out. Oh, they might be assholes, but they're still my parents. Guess the family connection isn't that weak. I wonder if the phone conversation differs depending on if you, like, depending on what information you give. Well, I suppose this is all from the tutorial, so... Yeah. Oh, shit. She actually is using that as, yeah, that's my defense. It was a defense. We can yeah, hold you for as long as we want. What? He's gonna he's gonna pull out the mental health thing, isn't he? Yep. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I hope you were like your cell and your cell mates. Toby over there does knitting. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
All right, and what, what, and what about that guy? He makes very good pies. I'm sure you'll feel comfortable. <laughs> and that one over there does crotchety. <laughs> Think, Miss Watergate. They have to have mentioned anything. <laughs> oh, Simes is losing it. Yeah. That did not go as planned. Not at all. Damn! I wonder if we went wrong somewhere about this place. Oh, don't say that! This is the part where the game goes, you fucked up. So what do we do now? We are running out of time and options. Evacuate just by making educated guesses? That would cause a PR disaster. What do we do now? I know. Shut the game off and absolve all responsibility. <laughs> this was not my fault. We need ideas. Hold oh, on, let me say that again. We need ideas and fast, else. Oh, I'm just waiting. Oh no! Oh, it, here it comes. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting oh, for it. No! I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. The Circle Mall hit by terrorist assault. Oh. Oh God, damn it! Maybe it's a misspelling. Maybe they meant to say Circle Mall hit by tourist assault. <laughs> oh. Because of those damn somersaults. Oh, I am going to get in a nick now from Symes. No. No, 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 no. We could have prevented this. We could have... I know it. If only we had done things differently. Which, which is the game's way of saying, replay value. <laughs> replay the game. I... I don't... Shit! There's going to be some serious fallout from this. I'll do what I can to keep us both in the job. Basically, his way of saying, yeah, you fucked up, but it's not game over yet. Yeah. We need to pull this group apart. Tomorrow, we'll have a serious look at the remaining member, this Nina. Until then, you are dismissed. <laughs> I'm not getting paid today, am I? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was the circle mall. Ah, oh, damn Obvious it. Obviously, I don't know. Like, this is all just, you know, guessing and shit. But you know what would be interesting? It, like, if, awesome. if, we redid, if we redid this and we said, check the malls, yeah. if it then, then a government building gets blown up. Oh, that... Like, what if whoever our enemy is is watching us. Big brothers being watched. That would so be like, a good twist. So like the so like the culprit is actually watching us and when we say, oh they're going to target a government building, they went, right, they they're gonna be watching the government buildings, blow up them all. That would be a really clever twist. Ah But that's just theorizing, I don't know. That is just a that is a theory, but that is actually a really good theory. Oh damn it, that's if that isn't the case, and it is, no, you just messed up. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, I was so... We're, we're bad at our job. <laughs> you see, this is why I'm not a detective. <laughs> oh. And I think uh, for this recording session, we're going to end it there, folks. That is going to be the to be continued. Yeah, edit that in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our two detectives have failed. With an inception. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually I'm gonna end it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should we should record some out of context clips for her next time on Orwell. <laughs> All right, if, if you don't solve this, I'll have your jobs for this. We need to work together to uncover the truth. I don't need your help. I don't need anyone's help. You can't handle the truth. I can't do this. <laughs> this isn't how it was supposed to be. Duh. Uh. <laughs> you okay, James? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just went so quiet. Just... <laughs> oh, that's just... Oh, god damn it. Oh, wow, look at all the uh, stuff we've got. 
it's just a long it's just a long list that says you fucked up you <laughs> fucked up <laughs> Yeah, we're going to call it a session here, folks. Uh, thank you for joining us on this... On all, well, this has been... A crap ton of fun. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you did, because we definitely did. <laughs> right up until that shopping mall got bombed. <laughs> God damn it! That's it's okay. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> it's all in your head. It's all in your head. <laughs> Undo the pill. Yeah. Oh. Just, 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 just like the mouse just pans over, delete, save. <laughs> <laughs>